Hello everyone, it's me again, the Southern African World Bicycle Rider. As some of you may know, um, I've completed a journey to this point of 20 countries on five continents. I'm in New Zealand, my 21st country, and the first country in the Oceania region. And what I've decided is, is that the Super Rugby Stadiums will be a general route for my bicycle journey through New Zealand. Now I started a month and a week ago now up at Eden Park, the home of the Auckland Blues. And I came down, rode down and stopped and visited the current champions, the Waikato Chiefs in Hamilton. And continued on from there and visited the Wellington Hurricanes. And now I've crossed the Cook Strait and I've come down from Picton to Christchurch via the spectacular Rainbow Road and I'm in the city of the most su successful super rugby team, the Canterbury Crusaders. I'm here in Christchurch and I've uh, come from the AMI Stadium which was unfortunately and terribly uh, devastated by the, the earthquake here and I've come, a, come up to an area called Eddington which is a temporary home where, where the stadium is located, the area of Eddington is the temporary home of the Crusaders for the the Canterbury Crusaders for the coming 2013 uh, season. Now once again can you believe it once again unbelievable I've managed to get into the stadium here and um, I've got with me one of the men who responsible in some capacity for work here at the stadium his name's Gus. Gus my name's Gus. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you mate and Gus, let me just start by asking you, mate, what is your role here at the, uh, at the stadium? Our role as one of the three groundsmen that work here is to get the ground ready for the, for the Super, Super Games. And being uh, the most successful team in the competition, being, even though it's a, uh, it's a temporary venue, it still has to be up to scratch for international play. Oh, yeah, so yeah, the standards for that is, isn't, isn't too uh, different to what we had at the other stadium, but as it's temporary, Yes, and I see you working on quite um, hard work on the area where all the um, logos were for the sponsorship yeah, yep. down on the field there, mate. Yeah, just, just where the paint is, it just suffocates the grass a little bit, so heading through the summer, we're just trying to get the grass stroke, uh, grass uh, rate back up for the uh, coming season in February, which should be good. Oh, excellent. Thanks for that. Uh, Gus, one other question I have for you too, actually, but yep. the first one is, what is your first memory of the Canterbury Crusaders? First memory, well, I, I followed them since the inception in 96, but the first vivid memory I've got of them is waiting at the airport coming back from Auckland in 1998. Uh, so yeah, 98, after they beat Auckland up there in 20 to 13. So. And, and was that and to win the cup? Was yeah, it? it was oh. to win. It was, it was a final and they won and everyone went to the airport. Oh, it was just oh, Excellent, mate. With, with that in mind, give us your prediction for the 2013 season, Gus. The amount of All Blacks they've got, you'd hope they'd win, but def definitely top three. Top de three? De oh, de definitely. They'll make the semis for sure. And oh, hopefully, well, hopefully they come away with a win. Oh, that's good to hear. They've got good fans. And as, as predictable, the Canterbury Crusaders, top three, nine times out of ten, make the, make the finals. So I, I take it, I guess, that even though they don't have the old home ground, still of such a quality that they can make a final anywhere. Guys, it was great chatting to you again. I've got one more stop in New Zealand, which is the Highlanders down in Dunedin. And they too have two stadiums, but fortunately for them, not through disastrous circumstances, but they have two carries, formerly known as the House of Pain, which I will definitely go visit. And their new stadium, which is fully covered, but I'm going to find out when I'm down there and that's when you'll hear from me again. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thanks so much, Gus.